These are my favorite. Not making a card today. We're doing a treat bag. Okay, and I'm super excited about this because it's cute. It's super cute and you can eat it. Not the bag, don't eat the bag, but you can eat the broomstick. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video. We are not making a card today. We're making a treat bag. And it's super cute. I love it. If you search on Pinterest for Halloween treat bags, you may see several of these types of ideas of the broomstick um, treat bag. I have incorporated a pretzel rod into my design. Um, to make it even more editable. Dexter has requested a Halloween themed party again this year because his birthday is in October, at the end of October. And so I think we're gonna go with these because they're super cute. Let me show you how I put it together. Let's start by putting the bag together. These are not your normal size lunch bags. They're mini, mini versions. So we're gonna use two of them, but we gotta cut them down first. So let me show you how I did that. And let me, sh let me tell you something. Let me preface this by saying I'm making these for a group of young children that are going to pretty much destroy them. So I want them to look cute, but I also don't want it to take a lot of effort. So I bought my mini sacks from the craft store. You can get them at the craft store. You can buy them online. You could probably get them at the grocery store. This is a little three by four stamp set called Itty Bitty Booze. And I have a six by six paper pad called Creepy Confections. And then a new die set called Everything But The Broom. We're gonna take our mini sacks and we're going to separate the bottom and make it kind of fold on top so that it just stays out of the way. We don't wanna cut the very bottom of the bag. There are several different ways you can cut. You can just take scissors and chop the heck out of it to make your little broom bristles. Um, but I chose to break out my paper trimmer. I did trim the bags down. They're about five inches from the bottom, okay, uh, with these pretzel rods. What, your pretzel rod might be longer. I don't know. So I'm just taking about a quarter of an inch and then taking the blade and moving it down until the bottom of the sack and I just do that all the way across in somewhat even in a somewhat even manner. Once all of your bristles are cut on your first bag take the second bag that you've also trimmed to five inches from the bottom and add some red line tape. This is good enough okay then you're going to open the first bag that are the bristles and stick the two inside the the bottoms of the bags together. This is self-explanatory, right? And that's how you're gonna fit your treats inside the bag. We are going to be filling our treat bags with these Reese's pretzels. It's gonna be a minute before his party, so I'm just gonna do this one and give it to him. <laughs> so, um, but it holds a good amount of, of goodies. It holds a good amount of goodies. I am using some orange and black twine and my iCrafter tweezers, which are really strong grip, to just tie everything in place and stick my pretzel rod in to where it's it looks good enough. So once you have your bag stuffed, you can decorate it with the tags. I'm using some new My Favorite Things as well as some uh, Bags and Tags dies by Concord and Ninth. I'm not sure if this is even for sale anymore, but I will check. Everything will be linked below in the description box, hopefully. So I've cut a black and white text pattern paper from the Creepy Confections paper pad, and I'm using the dies from these bags and tags die set to just make a small tag. I'm using a little slightly different orientation than I did on the sample, but uh, I think it looks great. You, you can just use your imagination here. I'm also using a corner rounder to kind of keep with the, the roundness of the tag. 
And then I'm going to use the dies from the Everything But The Broom die set to cut out some embellishments for my treat bags. I'm using black cardstock and orange cardstock, as well as some of the pattern paper from the Creepy Confections paper pad to do this. I suggest when you're cutting the legs to one, cut the black part first and then add the white stripes and add them uh, in order because they do taper. So there is like a right and a wrong, uh, I guess, stripe to put in that spot. And then kind of arrange them while the liquid glue is still drying. This die set has a little buckle for the witch's hat and two little buckles for the shoes, which at first when I saw that, I didn't put two and two together, but that's what they're for. They're buckles <laughs> for the hat and for the one for each shoe. I'm using very, very small amounts of liquid glue to adhere these buckles in place. And if you're interested, that little skull trinket dish was from Twiddler's Nook. I get some I get some questions about that one. That one's a cute one. Okay, so sentiment. We're using this orange zest, I think it's called orange zest, um, cardstock. And I did cut my um, stamp, I'm sorry. Um, but I thought it would look better as two phrases. So it says, witching you a happy birthday. And I'm using white, detail white embossing powder to heat emboss on the orange cardstock. And here's that embossing magic. Ooh. Ah. I'm using a tonic little trimmer to trim down my sentiments into strips. I find it easy to line it up with that plastic guide. So would you like to have these treat bags at your birthday party? Yeah. I mean, they are they Halloween themed? Because... Did you look at them? The bags? Yes. Yeah, these bags would fit good with my birthday party. Yeah, I think these treat bags would really catch people's eye. Okay, well now I'm going to put my eyelets into my tag top. And I'm also going to put one into this hat so we can hang it as like a little charm on our treat bag. Okay? Okay. So I have the silent setter eyelet setter and it comes with these manual tools where you strain yourself to poke a hole in your heavy weight cardstock and then you pick out a fun eyelet and then you change the tool to strain yourself to make the eyelet attached to the paper. At least I strain myself. I've been wanting a We Are Memory Keepers eyelet setter forever, but I'm too cheap to spend like the $30 that it is. So I just keep um, making myself miserable with this. Although, you know, honestly it does work. It's just, I have no upper body strength. It doesn't help that I uh, just had frozen shoulder. So there's that. Okay, now that we have all of our parts and pieces to our treat bag embellishments, uh, let's put them together and add them to the treat bag. So my sentiment strips are super thin, so I'm using these foam squares to attach everything, and I just need to cut them down to fit in my little thin strip for my sentiments. But that's what I use to attach everything. I also use liquid glue on just the white parts, because that's really the only thing that's going to touch your tag, and just let it sit there to dry. Sometimes you need to let things dry, and you eat chips. So I also attached a little bit of sequin trim. Um, I got all of these from Stampin' Up and I'm sure they don't have them anymore. But that black sequin trim, I love that, especially for Halloween projects. Um, and then I'm just tying a simple knot, a simple bow like I was tying my shoes. And I think that's good enough. I think the kids are going to rip it open and devour the candy inside of it. So the more you fuss with this, the more you're going to hate to see that happen. I keep looking down at my shirt thinking that I have chip crumbs. <laughs> the sparkles are making me think that I have chip crumbs, which is not really. There's probably chip crumbs too. But this is super cute. These products and more are going to be available now over at mftstamps.com. You should check the links below and see if anything interests you. Uh, I'm gonna keep making treat bags. I'm probably gonna make a few here and there until his party. So, until next time. 
Find me, find MFT on social media. I love interacting with you in the comments. So leave me a comment, let me know what's up, and I'll see you guys next time.